Welcome. Uh, it's great to have such a crowd with us this morning for this important event. Um, thank you for joining us to celebrate the opening, historic opening and expansion of the Burlington International Airport. The completed terminal integration project, which is what we call this, this whole facility that uh, is about to open, represents a dramatic step forward in our vision to expand this critical regional resource for future generations in a way that is safer for travelers, more welcoming and comfortable, and better for the environment, for Burlingtonians and visitors alike going forward. Burlington has been proud to steward the airport for over 100 years now. Creating and continuously improving the terminal has been a big part of that stewardship. You know, this is an important building, the terminal. It's, it's uh, often the last look that visitors to Vermont have before they depart and it's a place where Vermonters both wave goodbye and farewell to friends and family and where they embrace loved ones upon return. So we've always really believed that the terminal was a critical part of the traveling experience. We're proud of the decades really of investment into into this building and today's expansion is another important step forward for that long history. We're celebrating this expansion today um, and uh, we're going to hear from, uh, from uh, TSA Chuck Wyatt who's the Federal Security Director for Vermont who will go through the details in a minute of how we'll actually pivot from the active TSA uh, entrance that's still operating right now to this new modern facility starting next Tuesday, October 11th. Um, and uh, Nick Longo, our aviation director, will uh, share some more details as well. And in a moment, I'm going to hand over the microphone uh, to Senator Patrick Leahy, who uh, Clearly, um, we would not be standing here today uh, without his, his leadership on this and so many other airport initiatives. This future forward addition to the airport um, uh, is made possible by $19 million of FAA grants that uh, Senator Leahy has advocated for and made happen in a number of ways. And um, it is, uh, again, this is a, a kind of a capstone investment here at the airport after decades of investment that the Senator ha has brought back home. I'd also like to thank our entire talented airport team, um, led by the new aviation director, Nick Longo, for shepherding this project. And uh, this is one of those rare projects where we, we hit all three goals. It's, it's on time, it's actually ahead of schedule, um, on budget and you can see and as you tour through and we hope you will spend some time with us this morning and get to see some of the details whether from the artwork or just the uh, the the details upstairs with the way that waiting um, uh, for passengers has been detailed you'll clearly see the great quality that is in this as well it is a rare project that gets all of that schedule quality and budget uh, in one project um, it is uh, exciting uh, to have had that sex is, success is really one of our, our, our first major post-pandemic infrastructure projects. We have a lot of other infrastructure projects underway right now, uh, and it's exciting to see this one be the first one to come to life. I want to recognize uh, a few other groups as well. We're, we're joined by um, Tim George, who's the, the chair of the uh, airport commission, um, which plays an important, critical role advising me and the city council and working with uh, other communities on airport matters. Um, I want to recognize the local construction and trades people whose skill and hard work uh, make, makes it, make this possible. And you can really see the care that's gone into the design and construction again as you, as you tour the building today. Uh, I know that every traveler to pass through these doors will see a glimpse of the best of Vermont and Burlington, uh, a place where we invest in safety and innovation, and where we value local goods, labor, and artists, and where the well-being of our community drives progress, and where we take pride and pleasure in hospitality. So thanks again, everyone, for being here today. And with that, I'd like to invite Senator Leahy to, to the podium. Senator, welcome. So good to see you here. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, Merle. I, I appreciate that. It's, uh, it is also good to be home. And after uh, 31 days in the hospital, it's good to be learning how to walk again, which is, which is really fun. But I remember, Director, we were here, we were just talking about this when, it's just about a year ago, we were standing outdoors with a uh, fence around and talking about, we're standing right here where the new uh, unit's gonna be and Director was, Director Longo was uh, explaining it to me and describing it. And I said, I, okay, we'll get the money, but I don't fully understand what it's going to be. And now I see this, and it's great. Because the first time I ever flew, I was a student at St. Mike's uh, in, in my teens. Flew out of here, we just walked out on the, uh, to get on the plane. It was a DC-3 if anybody knows what those are. And uh, I've told our children once, they had flown from the time they were babies. I was in my late teens before I flew. They said, Dad, they hadn't invented the airplane since you before you were in your late teens. But, you know, going back and forth to Washington, uh, usually several times a month. And I think of the times though that we, Marcel and I would be boarding the 6 a.m. departure DC. And other times with snowy weather coming back here about midnight when everything's blanketed with snow. Well, it, uh, we realized never could have served Vermont all these years without the hundreds of Vermonters who make the airport run. It's, I've seen so many of the faces I recognize over the years, and now sometimes uh, members of their family, uh, their children who started working here. Look at all the people here, mechanics, baggage handlers, food service workers, the TSA agents. Think what they do. Think what they do day in and day out to make this part of Vermont such a thriving place that it is. So Mayor, I thank you. I thank Security Director Wyatt, Director Longo, as well as former Director Gene Richards to turn this, which were just drawings that I first saw, into 31,855 square feet of reality directly around us. Engelberth Construction, what they did. You know, this went from a cornfield to a runway just about 100 years ago, and look where we are now. I have flown up here so many times with officials from Washington or other senators, and they come from areas much larger than this, and they said, we would give anything to have uh, an airfield and, and an airport like you have. And I, uh, I felt a privilege being chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee where I could make suggestions <laughs> of money that should come to Vermont. Uh, and what we need for infrastructure. Because you can't be thinking of yesterday, you gotta be thinking 10 years from now, 20 years from now. How do you advance for that? And so we helped the airport become the international hub for tourism and commerce is today. Economic engine that supports our local communities and employers. But it's also a center for the innovative uh, businesses and training centers, technology, science, engineering. This, just think of the population of Vermont. You have communities that have twice the population of our whole state. They do not have an airport like this. And we should take advantage of it. For students coming in here, for uh, people visiting family and friends, for 
any field you want to talk about, we have it here. And so I, I think everybody, uh, getting the money was the easy part. You did the hard part. And I am so proud of everybody here. So thank you very, very much. The other thing, the other thing that's going to make it easier, we go back and forth, because after I retire, we're still going to want to fly back a lot to see our grandchildren. Thank you. It's hard to follow that, um, but I, I have to say, look at this amazing space, right? The airport, the community that came behind us, the senator, the mayor, they have given us an amazing space to operate within. And from the behalf of the TSA to all of you uh, and all of them, thank you very much for providing it. We're backdropped by a lot of our TSOs. They're the ones that are going to be looking to serve you in this wonderful new space starting next week, as the mayor said. Um, the 11th of October is right around the corner, and it's going to be a beautiful day when we open up in here and we're starting to process passengers on these lanes that are uh, flanking us right now. One of the best things about these lanes is these are the newest, latest, and greatest in TSA technology. This type of lane setup will allow our Vermonters to come through here and not have to take laptops out of bags anymore. LGAs will stay in bags now because of the wonderful technology that is in this checkpoint provided by the agency and the wonderful Senate Appropriations Committee. Um, we look at this as the next step in the, the state of art, state of the art TSA checkpoints nationwide. This is a component of the entire security ecosystem with out throughout the country. We look forward to being at the front edge of that now. On Tuesday, we will start uh, allowing folks and passengers and ourselves the beauty of working in here. When it comes to uh, TSA and our belief in how we're going to support this airport, um, this is a major component in making the transition for the passengers easier and better. We're not going to have to have as many bag checks because the wonderful technology as well. And I must make a plug. Um, the TSOs behind us work very hard each and every day. And we look forward to hiring many more of them to work in this great space. And I'll pass it over to Nick. Thank you. We made it. I am so, so happy to be here today. Uh, thank you all again for joining us today. Uh, this is another, another historic milestone for our city and for this airport. And so thank you. A another round for everybody that was involved and everybody that made this happen. Today represents the culmination of our incredible partnership in the vision of so many people. The new building starts the transformation of our terminal into the state-of-the-art facility serving over one million passengers annually in and out of BTV. Our partnership with Engelberth and Jacobs has been outstanding with all of their technical support and their expertise across all of the trades. So thank you very much for that. But more than just the building construction itself, we've strengthened our partnership with additional city departments. And through this process, we've, we've formed alliances such as with the Burlington City Arts uh, and the stunning reimagining of Maple Apple Birch, which is this new art piece off to the side, uh, with the artist Andy and Elizabeth. And Fletcher Free Library, as we expand what digital book options are available to all of our passengers right here in the terminal building. Coming soon, coming soon. Thank you again, Senator Leahy, and your entire team for your continuous advocacy for our state and specifically for our airport. And the wonderful leadership of Mayor Weinberger uh, it, for your inspiration of this airport and, the, and growing this airport responsibly. 
Thank you both very much. The Transportation Security Admin Administration is the heart of this terminal for all of our passengers and hundreds of employees every single day. The women and men, some of them standing behind me today, of this agency are our neighbors, our friends, and provide an invaluable security element to our everyday traveling experience. They helped design this building. In, in fact, the carpet was selected by TSA. Uh, don't know why the color blue is in there. <laughs> Match is great. Uh, I can't thank them all enough for all of their service and I'm eager to see them grow in this new space here. We are excited next week, next Tuesday, to start welcoming our passengers to this new security checkpoint. Providing them with the elevated travel experience they deserve right here out of BTV. With all of our incredible airline partners. Uh, that's why we're here. And there's more. We're, we're just getting started. We're now embarking on our next visionary future of the North Terminal Replacement Project. Uh, right now we're calling it NEXT. I don't know what that stands for just yet though. So thank you all very, very much. And now I'd like, uh, with the help of Mayor Weinberger, Senator Leahy, uh, FSD Wyatt, uh, uh, as well as a few other folks to join me at the front here uh, of the podium to officially cut this ribbon Following, I'd like to invite you to grab a uh, commemorative bag. Uh, thank you, Jacobs and the team for putting that together. Enjoy some of the BTV swag that we have off to the side and some food sponsored by, uh, um, oh boy, Sugar Snap, sorry. <laughs> Sugar Snap. So thank you all very much. And then we, we can uh, answer any questions and explore the building. So I'd like uh, the official ribbon cutting to take place. Right this is a prime example of what not to put in your bag. <laughs> we have a bunch of folks back there really having a hard time with it. <laughs> no, don't look at those. Start cutting. It's a big ribbon. 